This is a sport that's supposed to simulate open field coursing, which is what Sighthounds originally did, was to see game and run and catch it and, and bring it back to their owners. Um, a fellow named Lyle Gillette, who his dad had big goals, started the field coursing, and he wanted his Borzoi to be able to win in confirmation and go on the field and be able to be judged and show that they could do what they were originally bred to do. And he started work coursing in California in 1972. Um, and what this is supposed to do is simulate them catching. And they run and it's judged in five categories, overall ability, speed, agility, endurance, and follow. And they're scored, they can get a total of 50 points. Hey, nice, right they Let's run see. a preliminary run, and then they run a final run, and then they put those two scores together, and they come up with a winner. And they have open stake, field champion stake, and veteran stake. And the winners of each of those stakes come back to run against each other, and they're judged, and then one of those will win best of breed. And all of the best of breed winners come back to run for best in field, similar to best in show in a dog show. It's all instinct. Um, you know, there's really, there's not a whole lot of training involved. Sometimes it's things that the dogs just do and sometimes it's just, they don't have an interest. The best time to bring in it is a puppy. Um, you know, it comes out, it's great socialization. Everybody here is comfortable with dogs. Um, they get to see the lure, they get to see the dogs kind of going crazy, so it's not an overwhelming thing for a puppy. Um, and then you just come out to events and um, practice your puppies and things like that. And I've, I say whenever we practice a dog and it runs for the first time, um, that we just created a coursing monster. Because they do love it, and the best thing about it is they don't have to be trained for it. It all comes in their head when they're born, they're hid in their heart. And that's what separates the good ones from the, from the mediocre ones is what's up here in their head and what's in their heart. There's social media is great and um, the AKC has a, their website where you can look at events in your area, state, um, depending on how, you want, how far you want to travel and how often you want to do it. There's something every weekend. <laughs>